cards as well. I'm hoping for the archers, but let's open this up. So let's see what we get here. Welcome back to another Clash Royale video. In today's video, guys, we are going to be opening up the second level 10 chest. So if you guys haven't seen my previous video about opening the same level 10 chest as a clan, you guys can go ahead and check it out. It did pretty good, about 10,000 views, a couple hundred likes, or pretty close, over 100, like 20 or 30 likes easily. Actually, I think maybe close to 200, but got a great review. So I decided to open up the second chest again now. As you guys can see, I'm on the Double Elixir Challenge, and so far I'm doing okay. I only lost one and battled eight times, so not too bad. Hopefully we can finish strong. Um, my previous time, I actually finished with eight battles, and then I lost three times, so we're doing a lot better. And um, Now, trophy pushing, on the other hand, we have pretty much, I think, dropped about 100-something cups, but... My previous best is actually 174, 4,174, which is pretty good. I got that record yesterday, but since then dropped. Um, hopefully, I can climb back up. It's not that hard. It's just using the deck and knowing how to use it specifically against other decks. But look at this. We have the golden chest. We have the free chest. We have two of them, and I did battle for the crown chest and as well as the clan chest. Now, nice, guys. Um, if you guys saw my last video about the level 10 clan chest, I only had like 17 crowns. That's because I had the finals and, you know, obviously I couldn't battle too much. But this time I have 59 crowns now compared to all level 10 chests. It's obviously not much, but it's much better than like 20 crowns or 15 crowns I got last time. But huge thanks to Salid and the top three players of our clan and every other player that actually pitched in. I mean, there's a lot of players that got above 100 crowns, above 50 crowns. There's a lot of people. So everybody that pitched in, thank you very much. Um, we're pretty active clan. We are actually top 200 local as well. So if we go to, uh, let's see if we go to clans and we go to local, I think. Oops. Yeah. If we go to local, I think we were top 120 yesterday. Let's see. Yeah, we're still 100, top 120 as well, so not too bad. We have a lot of players that are pushing as well. So, first of all, we're going to start up with the free chest, and then we're going to go to the golden and the crown chest, then we're going to do the clan chest. So, I'm super excited. Now, last time, I didn't get any really good cards. I know a lot of players got, like, legendaries and massive amount of epics and stuff, so... Um, I don't recall being it amazing, but it was a pretty, I guess, decent opening chest video. We got some, um, a lot of common cards, but hopefully, I don't think we're going to get a legendary from this chest. But you know what? If we can get a lot of epics or rares, uh, you know what? Those are good cards as well, which I use. And if we can get a lot of archers, that would be amazing. So let's open up some chests here. So free chests, I haven't got a legendary from them in a really, really long time. I used to get actually a couple of them couple legendaries from free chests so that's pretty good actually that chest was good we got a valk and two gems next we have the golden chest all right so let's see what we get here nothing really fancy we got three hog riders yeah nothing really good again from the gold chest now the crown chest let's see what we get here all right so we got two gems we got 32 goblins 35 elite barbs eight infernos and we got a prince which is an epic card so you know what that's not bad even though i don't use him that's one card closer to upgrading him so that's pretty good not bad and finally the clan chest level 10 so um we get 3150 gold and 525 gold so that's pretty good that is i think that's less than obviously than the you know challenges but that's still pretty good amount of cards and gold so let's see what we get here all right you also get 52 rares and five epics at least so that's gonna be pretty epic hopefully we can get some pretty good common cards as well i'm hoping for the archers but let's open this up so let's see what we get here all right so we got 3150 gold not bad all right we got 44 skeletons 58 minions 75 archers 75 zaps Actually, that's pretty useful. 21 Valix. Wow. it's pretty good. We got 214 Spear Goblins. Not a big fan of him. I'm guessing I'm not going to get a Legendary from this, but that's fine. 32 Musketeers. That is pretty awesome. Very strong card. So, then we have 5 Free Spells. That's pretty awesome. Even though I don't really use this card as much, it would be good to upgrade it as well down the road. And oh my god! We just got a Legendary card, guys. Oh. 
Now my princess can be level 3. Unbelievable. I really thought I would not get a legendary card because legendary cards are pretty rare from any chest except obviously the legendary chest. But you know what, guys? That is amazing. We're definitely going to upgrade. I think we have enough gold to upgrade the princess being level 3. That is amazing. I mean, wow. We just got a legendary from a crown chest. I mean, I as I said, we're probably not going to get a legendary and then the last card we do. That is awesome. Like the best clan chest opening yet so let's go to my princess now i really should swap her for the uh swap the princess inside my deck being level three i mean that is pretty good so how much is she Twenty thousand gold uh, let's see how much damage all right 24 hit points increased 15 damage area and five damage per second increase so uh, that's actually pretty good for a level three princess and we gain 600 xp let's do it let's upgrade the princess there we go amazing wow all right so the princess is doing pretty good now that's my only level three legendary um let's see the lumberjack's kind of close uh that's pretty much it uh, i don't have any other legendaries that are close so yeah uh the princess is my only level three legendary that is pretty awesome yeah, that's pretty good so uh, my sparky can be two my hand can be two but i should probably switch something for the princess um, maybe debating the archers, but I'm not sure. Either the archers or the ice golem. Maybe the log, actually, because the log does, I mean, it does pretty good amount of damage, but having the princess in the back really would help a lot. So, anyway, I'll test out the level 3 princess sometime down the road and maybe switch, because I'm used to this deck, so switching a card is going to be a little different uh, battling other players. But I think it's going to work out with the princess. So, anyway... Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. Here's my clan saying hi to YouTube. And as always, I'll see you all on my next video.